This morning, Debbie is churning up America's East Coast. This is an animal that we don't think that we have seen before. So we must be very, very prepared. Slamming Georgia and South Carolina with what forecasters warn could be a once in a 1,000 year rain event. Overnight curfews in Savannah and Charleston with some areas bracing for up to 25 inches of rain over the coming days. If we get this amount of rain that is forecasted, um, it will totally overwhelm all of our systems and literally will create islands within the city. Homes in Charleston already barricaded with sandbags and so-called tiger dams filled with water. You know, I think wind is always scary and floods are scary. This after the storm, which began as a hurricane, turned fatal on day one. In South Georgia, authorities say a 19-year-old man was killed after a tree fell on his home. A similar story in Florida, the sheriff saying this tree fell on a home outside Gainesville, crushing a 13-year-old boy. In Manatee County, frantic water rescues brought hundreds to higher ground. Packed what we could in 15 minutes, um, waited for fire rescue to come. The house is destroyed. The storm stalling over the state, dropping nearly a foot of rain in some spots and leaving close to 200,000 people without power across multiple states as millions more brace for Debbie's wrath. And it's feared and expected that Debbie will just kind of linger overhead here and dump rain, guys, for days. Officials leading up to this pleaded with people to have enough food and water to last them the week. Hoda, Savannah, back to you. All right, Maggie Vest before us there on the story. Maggie, thank you. Let's bring in Al and get more on this storm and the massive amount of rain, where it's all headed next. Al, what's on your plate? Well, here's the deal. This thing is going to have a high impact all along the eastern seaboard. Right now, 50 miles southwest of Savannah, 45 mile per hour winds moving northeast and seven. We've got tornado watches now for the Carolinas right along the coast from Charleston all the way up to Wilmington till four this afternoon. Now, here's what's going to happen. This system is going to be meandering out into the Atlantic and then making a second landfall in South Carolina, just north of Charleston, sometime probably around Thursday afternoon, bringing anywhere from 7 to 20 inches of rain and then making its way up the eastern seaboard uh, through Saturday on into Sunday, already causing the, new, the northeast would have had very heavy rain earlier in the next 24 hours. And so they've got a high risk, a moderate risk of rainfall to, and flooding from New York to Washington, also along the southeastern Atlantic coast today. Then we move into tomorrow again. High risk from Wilmington to Charleston of flash flooding, but you can see it extends all the way up to Norfolk. And we move on into Thursday, and again, we are looking at the risk of flooding from New York all the way to Jacksonville, but the heaviest flooding from Raleigh to Charleston. This is going to be a high-impact storm that is going to last right into the weekend. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.